Hello everyone, this is Chinmay from Makeodo Clinic. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about the um, disc brake problem. Exactly means what? See, what happens whenever you are buying new vehicle or even if it is used vehicle. Sometimes it happens in used vehicle also because of uh, humor error. And if it is brand new bike, then it happens because of the production error. Right? It is also human error, but it is more of a we can call production error right so what is the what is the uh, subject basically we are going to discuss about the uh, caliper shimming shimming in the sense what that we have to basically align the caliper as per the rotor even if it is rear or front doesn't matter it doesn't matter at all okay number one number two this is applicable for all the disc vehicle all the Two wheelers which has got a two, uh, disc brake right so let's work on that and let's uh, let me just show you what exactly the problem is so you guys will understand and how to rectify that that is also I am going to show you in this video so this is Royal Enfield product on which I am showing you the problem as you can see the disc is very much near to the caliper it's on the right hand side the disc shifted you can say or the caliper shifted towards left hand side the red mark was showing you the gap I'll show you once again I'll try to zoom it again for you people so you can you know see clearly as you can see the disc is on the right hand side it's not in the center the gap what you see the square the rectangular shape of the caliper what you see the disc has to be in the middle of caliper not towards one side as you can see it's on the right side of the caliper so it's scratching as well as you can see the shape also got changed so this happens because of what either because of the folk manufacturing or the caliper manufacturing this starts happening also there is one possibility if you have used duplicate pads as you can see it's very much not in the center it's very much away from the center off centered rotor is this and because of the scratching the caliber is already got worn out <laughs> so this problem can happen in any motorcycle or scooter as you can see the gap very less gap and generally rotors are slightly bent they are not exactly plain so because of that also you cannot control this off center at all so it has to be in center for the tolerances purpose now the remedy very simple remedy you have to remove both the caliper bolts and you have to add shim in between caliper and the fork tube fork bottom tube shim in the sense very thin washer not the regular washer but sometimes there is a possibility that you may have to use thick washer instead of shim so to clear this first you have to remove the bolts caliper bolts you can use socket socket wrench possibly 12 mm or 13 mm depends on what kind of a bolts you have depends on hex uh, hexagonal shape also there is a possibility you may have allen bolts so you may need to use m8 or m6 allen keys or allen sockets now you have to insert the shim as i mentioned i'll show you where to also these are very thin washers very thin washers you can use ss metal or ms metal not an issue I'll show you how thin it is so now once you add these washers you will see the change in the caliper first locate the bottom shim in between the fork tube and the caliper it has to as you can see it is in between the caliper and fork this is in between the caliper and fork so the foundation will get shift towards the right towards right hand side 
now you have to insert the first bolt but has to be bottom only not the top one now you have to locate the shim by adjusting the bolt and the washer and the shim and the caliper so this diagnostic is very much important instead of replacing anything now just put the bolt inside then check if it is look i mean if it is placed properly or not i'll show you it's very difficult to show actually because it's very inside it's a cozy area but i'll try my level best to show you so this is now inserted exactly in between the fork and caliper fork bottom tube okay then you have to insert the top uh, shim remember this has to be done first bottom the, there is a sequence because you cannot put the bottom uh, shim later on so put the shim first at the bottom and then on the top a little difficult area you can use the plucker or something to hold the shim so you can insert uh, uh, insert it very easily if your hands are not so reachable i'll show you now where it is on the top i can show you okay let me just zoom it let me just change the yes as you can see it's completely perfectly placed in between now slight gap so this gap is important remember how much you have to calculate by adjusting the shim thickness how much centering you want that you have to understand and then just uh, put uh, i mean tight the caliper so both the shims will be in hold condition because i have not use loctite yet because if you use the loctite before only so you can't place it so best is to first clamp it so the washer is in hold condition now use the loctite remember do not touch the loctite nozzle to the thread otherwise it gets hard do not touch to the thread otherwise the loctite gets hard at the nozzle area only now retight and give the proper torque to the bolt as per the recommended torque chart right now i'm not going to show you torque i'm just going to show you what remedy you have to do for off center caliper and remember it's caliper not caliber in bikes uh, for example ktm and all these bikes are having fixed type of caliper so generally there will be no mistakes such mistakes but this happens only in floating calipers but still you never know because in production anything can happen as you can see the gap in the caliper and the fork is proper as you can see the washer or the shim in between the fork and the caliper placed properly now we'll see the centering it's quite on the left hand side now it's i mean you can see the gap if you want exactly in the center then again you will have to add one more shim but that is thinner than this for sure then the caliper will come in the center of the disc so this is how you have to diagnose and do the caliper shimming or the caliper realignment of the motorcycle or any scooter thanks guys thanks for watching this video i hope you like the video i hope you like the information it was very small video but it was very essential because most of the time what happens generally that people uh, don't understand what is shimming or what what exactly the remedy has to be there 
for such kind of an issue and they change either the caliper or the folk uh, folk pipe or they do i mean they do n number of things to rectify that thing right so this was the procedure this was the rectification and this was the remedy on the uh, caliper which you have to do just in case if you have such kind of a problem in your motorcycle so have a great day and thanks for watching this video